Welcome back, Safe Moon Rednecks. So today we're gonna go through these factual allegations or just the background on crypto assets and the centralized finance. It's like common knowledge. But let's see, I haven't read it before, so I don't know what it will say. Let me just fix my microphone here. So I hope it's better like that. I don't know. Okay, so background on crypto assets and decentralized finance 39 a crypto asset is a digital asset designed to work as a medium of exchange or a store of value or both crypto assets leverage a variety of cryptographic principles to secure transactions control the creation of additional funds and verify the transfer of the underlying digital assets 40. Created in 2009, Bitcoin was the first decentralized crypto asset with a current market capitalization of approximately 580 billion US dollars. It's like a penny. Bitcoin is also the largest and most popular crypto asset. Bitcoin spawned a market of other crypto assets that together with Bitcoin have a current market capitalization of 1.3 trillion US dollars. I wonder how much the US budget is. Mm, I can surely find it on Google, but no, never mind. One of the main features that Bitcoin popularized uh, was the use of a distributed ledger to track the ownership and transfer of every Bitcoin in existence. The distributed ledger is known as a blockchain. Blockchains are a central technical commonality across most crypto assets. <coughs> Sorry about that. While each blockchain may be subject to different technical rules and permissions based on the preference of its creators. They are typically designed to achieve a form of decentralized decentralization. There are two main ways to obtain crypto assets. One way is to be part of the framework of incentives to validate the transactions on the blockchain under either a proof of work or proof of stake scheme. Uh, there are many more proof of history like Solana has yeah user users who expand resources to validate the blockchain get rewarded with newly minted tokens this process is collo colloquially okay colloquially something Ref I never heard that word before referred to as mining proof of work blockchains and validating for proof of stake blockchains. A second and more common way to obtain crypto assets is to acquire them from somewhere someone else. This often involves acquiring them through online crypto asset exchanges. These exchanges are similar to traditional exchanges in the way in that they provide a convenient marketplace to match buyers and sellers of virtual currencies. Okay, Bitcoin for a time was the only crypto asset available on exchanges. Okay, as crypto assets grew in popularity, however, exchanges began listing other crypto assets as well as trading volumes expanded. In early 2013, daily Bitcoin trading volumes hovered between 1 million and 25 million US dollars. By the end of 2017, daily Bitcoin trading volumes ranged between 200 million and 3.8 billion US dollars and reached over 80 billion US dollars in 2022. Ethereum is the second most popular crypto asset with a market capitalization of approximately 250 billion US dollars. Ethereum was designed to enable smart contract functionality. A smart contract is a program that verifies and enforces the negotiation or performance of a contract. 
Smart contracts can be self-executing and self-enforcing, which theoretically reduces the transaction costs associated with traditional contracting. For example, a smart contract enables two parties to submit either, oh, either, submit either to a secure dis destination and automatically distribute the ether. Oh, sorry, to submit ether to a secure destination and automatically distribute the ether at the end of the month without any third-party action. The smart contract self-executes with instructions written in its code which get executed when the specified conditions are made met. Since Ethereum first introduced the concept of smart contracts, many other companies have thought, thought sought to create crypto assets that improve on and compete with Ethereum in the smart contract ecosystem. Yeah, because it's really expensive with Ethereum or have a smart contract that the gas fee is astronomical if you compare to like Binance. Interest in the crypto assets began to accelerate towards the end of 2016, with prices growing at a rate historically unprecedented for any asset class. Over the course of 2017 alone, Bitcoin's price increased with approximately 1,000 US dollars to approximately 20,000 US dollars and we're below 20,000 US dollars now woohoo and we're gonna go down to like between 10 and 12,000 is my prediction so if you want to buy Bitcoin my financial advice to you is to wait it's too high right now on January 1st 2017 Ethereum was trading at approximately eight dollars per ether and now it's like around one thousand dollars but it was much higher a while ago Approximately one year later, it was trading at over 1400 per ether. Okay, more than it's now. A return of approximately 17,000% over that period. Now, this enthusiasm for crypto assets prompted many entrepreneurs to raise funds through initial coin offerings or ICOs. Between 2017 and 2018, ICOs raised nearly 20 billion US dollars. None of these ICOs was registered with the SEC. Okay, 